Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is happening for uh, the active tropical cyclones across the Atlantic, Brett and Cindy. And so uh, before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. And so as we return to this satellite imagery here, we can definitely see uh, that there is some activity taking place across some areas, lots of showers and thunderstorms over into parts of Central America. And guys, please remember to take the necessary precautions in the event of a lot of heavy rainfall. But across most Caribbean islands, there isn't too much happening. Uh, looking out into the Atlantic, there we have Cindy well to the east of the Lesser Antilles. And so uh, dry air has been preventing it from having a good satellite presentation. However, it has has intensified a bit so our uh, winds are now at 60 miles per hour let's go on to the latest corn forecast from the nhc the maximum sustained winds are 60 miles per hour with higher gusts and it is accelerating to the u.s northwest at 15 miles per hour and so uh, you might notice that the cone has narrowed a lot since yesterday which means that there is some uh consistency with where this is going to head so uh, it's not a crazy scenario where there are so many possibilities it should continue on a west northwest westward to northwestward track for the next couple of days and it will be encountering some wind shear and that should help to keep the intensity as a tropical storm so cindy is not expected to become a hurricane as of right now and it should become post-tropical according to what the nhc has here by the middle of the new week and so uh, this is likely going to be passing well to the uh, east of the Lesser Antilles, not bringing any direct impacts in terms of strong winds and a lot of heavy rainfall. So that isn't something expected. And as we look at the model track guidance, also we can see that none of these are taking Cindy close to the Caribbean. And so now let's go ahead and talk about Brett. And so as was forecasted a couple of days ago, Brett would make its way into the vicinity of the ABC Islands. And here we have it. Uh, resulting in lots of rainfall so it's likely that uh persons they are experiencing or have experienced lots of rainfall especially early this morning as a result of brett's passage so if you're in any of the islands aruba curacao bonaire uh please let me know what's going on and just to the south of haiti there we have that area of deep convection as well now brett is going to be continuing westward and will pass well south of jamaica uh, on its way to the southwestern caribbean sea heading to central america and so as for jamaica there could could be some rainfall within the area but a whole lot of rain is not anticipated for the island so uh the heat has been pretty uh hostile here it's been unforgiving however uh it doesn't seem likely that we're going to be seeing a major rainfall increase as they're going to be heading throughout the rest of today Going on to the cone forecast, so Brett is weakening and has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour and is accelerating westward at 18 miles per hour. So by tomorrow morning, it should be downgraded to a tropical depression and eventually uh, it will lose its tropical cyclone characteristics and become an open trough, uh, just some activity moving toward the west. So that is what is expected of Brett. It is approaching the end of its lifetime here. And going to this list, the next name to be used for this hurricane season is done and as of now there are no new disturbances highlighted for potential development and so guys i will continue to keep you posted i'll go into a lot more details as they're going to be heading into this evening hopefully and uh, that is pretty much it for right now and so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond as best and as soon as i can and remember to always be weatherwise